this is the breadboard circuit we have made for the Medibox. Here you can see the ESP32 board, the OLED display, DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor, 4 push buttons, 2 LEDs and 1 buzzer. This is the simulation that we made back in day 3 for the Medibox. In this simulation, we use the DHT22 sensor. Since now we are using the DHT11, we will have to make some modifications. First of all, I will copy the whole code into my Arduino IDE. Here I am using the Arduino 1.8.10 version. And I have installed the ESP32 board just like in the tutorial we showed you that week. I have also correctly selected my board and the COM port as well. The first modification I have made for the DHT11 is replacing the library. In the simulation we use the DHT ESP.h. But now in our code we are using DHTH and here we can define the sensor type and we have also made the necessary modification in the code according to the examples as well. We also had to do some modifications to the pin numbers based on the circuit that we made on the breadboard. First of all, I will verify my code by compiling it. After it has successfully compiled, I will now upload my code into the ESP32 on the breadboard. Remember that you have to press the boot push button on the ESP32 while the code is uploading. After the code has successfully uploaded, I have to press the reset button on the ESP32 to boot the ESP32 to execute the program from the beginning. You can see that it is behaving as expected. The time is updating as the seconds go by. Now we will see how the other functions are behaving. For that we will use the four push buttons with the leftmost with the OK, down, up and the rightmost for the cancel. First I will set the time. Now the time is 1-2. I will try setting an alarm to 1-3 and see if the alarm rings properly. Now the alarm is ringing. The LED has lighted up and even if you can't hear it, the buzzer is emitting some sound and you can see the message on the OLED as well. To disable the alarm, I will press the cancel push button once. Now based on the observations of the breadboard testing, I have decided to make some improvements. Here you can say that the time is updating at an unnecessary rate. So I have added these two lines into my wide loop function to update the time with the delay. Also I have uh, added two lines of code to print the temperature and humidity on the OLED display as well. Now I will upload my code. Now it looks much nicer, but now 
The push buttons will be a little unresponsive because of the delay I added in the loop. 